the Duchess of Cornwall has been made royal patron of the National Theatre by the Queen, the first of the Duchess of Sussex's former patronages to be taken over. Prince Harry's wife Meghan was stripped of the prestigious role as part of the post-Megxit review when the couple quit their royal roles in favor of moving to the United States. The new duty for Camilla is another sign of the Queen's faith in her daughter-in-law, who she endorsed as a future Queen consort while marking her historic Platinum Jubilee last month. The National Theatre said it was delighted Camilla, a long-standing supporter for the arts, had been given the role, describing her as a devoted fan of theatre and champion of literature and drama. Rufus Norris, director and joint chief executive of the National Theatre, said, It is a privilege to welcome the Duchess of Cornwall as the National Theatre's royal patron. The Duchess shares our belief that theatre enriches our lives in so many ways and that everyone should have access to the arts and creativity no matter where they are in the world. The Duchess has shown great support to our industry throughout the pandemic, and I look forward to working with Her Royal Highness for many years to come. I would also like to express my thanks to the Queen for Her Majesty's long and unwavering support and service to the National Theatre. The Queen has been associated with the National Theatre since its earliest days at the Old Vic in the 1960s, last visiting with the Duke of Edinburgh, as part of its 50th anniversary celebrations in 2013. Camille is an avid theatre-goer, whose existing patronages include the Royal Academy of Dance, Royal Society of Literature, Friends of the Royal Academy, London Chamber Orchestra, National Youth Orchestra, Theatre Royal Bath, Unicorn Theatre for Children and Georgian Theatre Royal. The Queen also last month handed over two of Prince Harry's patronage to the Duchess of Cambridge, the first of the Sussex's patronages to be handed over to new members of the family. Sports fan Kate has taken over the roles as patron of the Rugby Football Union, RFU, and the Rugby Football League, RFL. Kensington Palace said the high-profile sporting appointments closely align with Her Royal Highness' long-standing passion for sport and the lifelong benefits it can provide. Another news, Thomas Markle, the estranged father of the Duchess of Sussex, Meghan Markle, says he stopped a doctor from identifying her as black on her birth certificate. His objection was that he wanted his daughter identified as mixed race. Mr. Markle appeared in a YouTube video with celebrity photographer Carl Larson and relayed the story about how he argued with the doctor to have mixed race put on the certificate. I even had to argue with the doctor, and have him write that she was mixed on the birth certificate because he wanted to mark down black, Mr. Markle said. I had no problem with black or white, but in my mind, it should have been mixed. Ms. Markle was born in Los Angeles to Mr. Markle, who is white, and her mother Doria Ragland, who is black. A CDC document explains that when Ms. Markle was born, the rule was that if one parent was white, the child would be assigned the race of the other parent. It wasn't until after 1999 that more than one box could be ticked when identifying the race of a newborn in an attempt to clear up the confusion caused by forcing parents to make an inaccurate choice. The National Center for Health Statistics, part of the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention, updated its rules in time for the 2000 U.S. Census, allowing for multiple boxes to be ticked when answering questions about race. Race is defined by self-identification and not by genetics. Mr. Markle also recalled his daughter being challenged by a school project in which she was asked to identify her race, but only allowed to tick one box. Mr. Markle also said he is hoping to face Meghan and her ginger husband in court as part of the defamation case being brought by the Duchess's half-sister. He has sided with his older daughter Samantha Markle and said he would be thrilled to be able to defend her. She is alleging in court documents that Meghan made false and malicious lies about her during the Sussex's Oprah Winfrey interview and in the Finding Freedom biography.